everyone welcome in crochet life and stuff with Deborah as y'all saw the title and or the thumbnail it's happy mail and a little teeny acquisition so uh, I did get some mail this week yay one was something that I ordered and I'll be showing you all of that and one was um, from over in England what yes all right, I'm going to start with what I ordered because I think it's kind of cool. It's actually kind of heavy. So, yeah, this came from Miller Family, Miller Time Family Farm and Gardening. Um, he has Chris Miller is also making spice mixes and spice rubs and pepper rubs. And I have got three different varieties. Um, this package is awfully big for three different varieties, right? Yeah, because I bought two of each. That's right. Why did I buy two of each? Because when I do a taste test of the ones that I'm opening for myself, I'm also going to give away the other ones. So yes, because I know that these are good. I already know they're good. I've heard from enough people. Um, this is the one that is not wrapped up in a paper like this. I didn't know those would be wrapped up in paper. This was his latest one, and this is sort of a um, limited edition. Miller & Miller Company in uh, Florida LLC the guy is a business also a very fun channel you really need to check him out I'm gonna link him up down below he does gardening he does tastings and challenges his wife and kids are often on there just you know just it's a fun family style channel okay this one is 13 flames of fire and yeah this this one I expect to be hot um, Great tasting with a multi-dimensional flavor of spices, including 13 of the world's super hots. Proceed with caution. This is fire. It says so right there. It must be true. And um, all kinds of good ingredients. I mean, it is a seasoning blend, so it's not all straight pepper powder like the ones I was tasting on Wednesdays. Salt, black pepper, garlic, brown sugar, blend of 13 super hot peppers. Also cumin paprika, onion powder, basil, and a unique blend of spices and seasoning. So I'm looking forward to trying this. I'm not trying it now because I have two of these. Like I said, one to keep, one to give away. And I don't remember the, the specific names. Oh, I guess I do. No, I don't. Oh, I just had a brain bubble. OG is an original spice mix. Oh, God, I had my scissors with me. So let's bust into this puppy too. Yes, that's on the floor now. I'll pick it up in a minute. This one is, okay, Miller Savory, the original gangsta. That's right. I knew they had clever names, and he's got an Etsy shop too, but you can also look on his um, YouTube page, and he'll have links to his stuff and where you can buy it, of course. This is making novice cooks into super chefs one meal at a time. And there's a lot of info on here, and I will go into it in way more detail when I do the tastings. But just look at that. That looks like a wonderful spice blend. And everybody that has tasted it says the same thing. So, yeah. This one, ugh, goodness, it's all in Deborah proof packaging. Me with my weak nails, and I almost said something else, and that's not good. Okay, here we go. Yes, the whole shebang. <laughs> I thought that was a great name for a seasoning. Yep, sealed in there too. I mean, definitely a pro operation here. Salt, black pepper, granulated garlic, brown sugar, chili powder. And notice the chili powder is way down there. I think this will have um, a little bit of warmth to it, but I don't think it's going to be hot. I think this is going to be one of those things that you want to put on everything for what I understand everybody else say. But look at that. Look how pretty that is. Oh, I want to open it and eat it right now. But like I said, I have one each of the others. There will be a giveaway on that, but not today. Just keep that in mind. All right. Now let's see what I got from Miss Lisa Ladybird. Now I know that this is a uh, the six month member pack because it says so on the outside of the box, which I have just taken the tape off of itself so I can get into it. See, six month member pack, BL Blue Lady Bird. That is the membership level that I am at. Like a lot of people who have membership, she has different levels and different perks and everything. And uh, it's fun to be a Blue Lady Bird. Oh, oh my. 
Wow. This is loaded. Lisa. Oh my goodness. All right. Let's start with this. There's a bunch of tea in here. Oh my God. There's, there's pins and all kinds of goodies. Wait, there's a card. Let me get to the paper. Oh, wait a minute. That is not a card. Nay, nay. It is a handwritten recipe and directions for Yorkshire pudding. Okay, now I'm going to have to make it. And I'm going to have to translate over the, uh, well, no, I, I, I have measuring cups and stuff that have the, the conversions. But yeah, because it's in metric, of course, as everything should be at this point. I'm dropping things. I thought it was a card or a letter. Nay, nay. It is a recipe that is so awesome. You can freeze for up to a month. Got it at the end. I'm not going to read it all now because I'm excited to do that. Okay, because I've always been interested. I've seen Yorkshire puddings. <clears throat> Looks very much like a popover. And I think you use a popover tin, which I, I think I have, maybe. I have a lot of cooking stuff that I don't use, especially for baking because baking is almost magic. Okay, let's go through this box because, oh, there is so much stuff in there. <clears throat> we'll start with the tea. I have two of these. Twining's English Breakfast. I love English breakfast tea. And yes, yeah, some of these will probably be making it on time for tea on Mondays. Ugh. And they even tell you how to drink it. This, is, this one is uh, golden and well-rounded. Yes, English breakfast is my go-to. I just want a cup of tea today. Tea. Um, brew for two to three minutes. Four for a cup that packs a little punch. We like to add a splash of milk. Well, of course, of course, okay. But wait, there's more. Earl Grey. <clears throat> and if you know anything about Star Trek, you know that Captain Picard, or Admiral Picard, likes Earl Grey, hot. That's what he's talking about right there. Brew two to three minutes for a light drink, for if you like a strong cup, drink it with or without milk. It tastes great either way. Yes, it does. <clears throat> Twinings every day. Now, I've not heard of this one, but I'm guessing if it comes from Lisa, it probably is a black tea because she is not for herbals and fruities and all that stuff. So this will be wonderful. And oh my goodness, I just saw something in the bottom of the box. Oh my God. Okay. Um, but I will definitely be looking forward to trying this and seeing what's different about it than the English breakfast because that is my everyday tea. So there you go. Lots of teas. Oh my gosh. There are sweeties in here. There are, there are a lot of things in here. Oh, wait. <laughs> yes, she mentioned this. And there is a thing about pennies and she will have to tell us again because I don't remember something about find a penny, pick it up all day. You'll have good luck or something. It says Debra because of course it does. <laughs> Thank you for the continued support. Always, always. And look at that beautiful shiny penny. And that is Queen Elizabeth on the penny. That is beautiful. Thank you. I'm saving the absolute best part of this box for last because I just saw it. A very cool flag pin. That is a nice pin. I'm all for that. Thank you. Oh, that is so cute. This is an eraser. Look. Here in the U.S. they are called ladybugs. Over there they're called ladybirds. It's a cute little spotted ladybug thing. Ladybird, yes. It's adorable. I love it. Love it. That is so stinking cute. Stay there. And then there's what appear to be candies. Chocolates even. McVitie's penguin. P -p -p Pick up a penguin. Okay. And then there are jokes on here as well. Yes, there are. This is a milk covered, milk chocolate covered biscuit bar filled with chocolate cream. Okay, that's that one. 
But wait, there's more. There's two of those, actually. The McVitie's Club... Oh. Oh. <laughs> orange. Milk chocolate covered crunchy biscuit with an orange flavored cream. Yes. And, and... McVitie. Is it McVitie or McVitie? Or am I saying it completely wrong? I don't know. But gold. Gold. Crunchy biscuit bar with a caramel flavor coating. Oh my gosh, these all sound lovely. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. And the part that I have been saving until absolute last in here. This is just the sweetest thing ever. Look. Oh my gosh. It's Beanie in a box. And, wait, it's also signed by Beanie. <laughs> I love it. Love it, Lisa. Oh, my gosh. And that, Beanie has the sweetest face. She grins. Look at that sweet little grin on that little girl. She is so adorable. In an Amazon box, of course. And that's her box now, you see. Once you bring a box in and the cat claims it, it belongs to the cat. Anybody who has cats knows exactly what I'm talking about. Wow. Wow. Definitely has made my day. I have, I'm opening all of this on a Thursday at lunch. This will go up on Friday. Um, because it has just been a crazy week at work. Like, whoa. Busy, busy, busy. 12-hour days. But... It's all good. It's all good. Because I got happy mail. I got super happy mail. And I told you at the beginning that I didn't have one little teeny tiny acquisition. Uh, Hubby and I went to Walmart the other night to pick up things that we needed to get. You know, we needed to buy a loaf of bread. We needed a couple of other things up and down the aisles. It was actually a small Walmart trip. But you know, you know that I cannot go through Walmart without at least passing through our little tiny yarn section there. I have been looking for the mainstay sparkles there, which they have shelf tags for, but never have. They finally had, so they had some other colors recently, and I was like, oh, I don't really care. Those are okay. But this, look at that. It is beautiful, rich. It is, a, it's called teal. It is a lovely teal blue with like teal color sparkle running around it. It's so pretty, and I only bought one. I only bought one. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. Um, but right now, I'm just going to treasure it because it is so pretty. It even has a center pole. A center pole, y'all. Mainstay. It was like two, 230 something, 260 something, whatever for this ball. Now let's give you the, the stats on it. It's a medium four way, it uses a five and a half millimeter hook, 98% um, acrylic, 2% metallic. Care instructions, machine wash, double dry, do not dry clean. And there was something about Okotex on here. The Okotex Standard 100. Tested for harmful blah blah blahs and all of that. So, yeah. Isn't that gorgeous? I may have to make a hat out of that. I just love it. This color, this teal is just everything right now. Mm. Anyway, I was tickled to find this. I am even more tickled with all of my mail today. I don't know what day I will be doing the testing on those seasoning powders, but there will be a giveaway involved. And yes, it will be international because um, that, that's what I try to do, okay? And there'll be more good stuff coming up, I totally promise you. It just gets better and better. As long as I can get an hour or two off work. Speaking of, yeah, I got 10 minutes before I go back from lunch. So, <laughs> Thank you for coming in. If you're not subscribed, I'd love it if you'd consider doing so. Um, hit that like button. Leave me a comment if you would like. And um, hopefully I will see you very, very soon. Bye, y'all.